Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. All right, so as you can see by the title, I'm gonna get into something that a lot of people have issues with. I'm gonna take what I think is a slightly unorthodox approach to it because I'm gonna tell you what really worked for me. Not what you're supposed to do, what you should try to do, what's the healthiest route for you to do to completely clear up your acne <clears throat> or to at least you know get your skin in a good place some of these most of these are really good things to do for your skin but I am not an, a terribly healthy individual I'm gonna throw it out there and be for real with you alright so I have five tips um, that helped me clear up my acne and I'm gonna explain to you um, a little bit about what I was dealing with that precipitated this whole turnaround of my skincare regime so <laughs> let's be honest um, I really didn't have a skincare regime before all hell broke loose on the face. Um, as a teenager, um, I never had acne, I never had a problem with my skin besides the occasional hormonal breakout at that time of the month. So when I hit somewhere around 35, all hell broke loose. I don't know what it was. A lot of people say hormonal issues, hormonal acne. I don't know. But I had just a mass of mostly cystic acne, the kind of acne that gets just really big and, but stays under the skin. They're really painful. They get red and everything, but they don't come to the surface so that you can pop them or they pop themselves and then they go away and heal. So my cystic acne would stay one pimple would stay, and I didn't just have one, but I'm just saying, one would stay on my face for like weeks, weeks of painful, raised, red skin. And of course, I am a woman of color, so anything that turns red on my face eventually turns dark brown when it leaves a scar, all right? So I had a ton of them on this side of my face, my right side of my face. I had a few on the left side and almost none anywhere else. Occasionally on the chin, that kind of thing, but it was mostly on the right side of my face and there were a ton of them and they were painful and every single last one of them left a mark. So right around the same time I was on the hunt like so many people are to find ways to clear this situation up because I had no prior experience with acne it sounds arrogant and I don't mean it to sound that way but I just you know you don't know what you don't know what you don't have to deal with right so I went on a hunt and I found a really great video it might have been a series of videos but a really great video from Wayne Goss he's on here on YouTube he is Goss makeup artist you probably have already heard of him and watched him. Most people do. Anyway, a couple of years ago he made um, a video or two or three about how he cleared up his acne and it was really really helpful for me. So I had some takeaways from that and I got a another tip from uh, Makeup Game on Point Little Pumpkin Pie also here on YouTube and I will share those with you. I took what I needed from those two videos and what I read online and created this little uh, skincare regime that worked for me within a week it start I started to see some major differences in my skin and so I'm gonna share the top five of those and they give you a couple other things that will help as well towards the end so the first thing you need to do is to get yourself, and this is wet from a bathroom, um, a really gentle cleanser. Now, if you are like me and you have oily skin, you think, you might think, I thought, get the strippiest cleanser, clean out those pores, just abuse it. But that didn't really work for me. All that did was make the surface of my skin dry and flaky, but I was still producing just as much oil, I think actually even more, because my skin thought it was dry and needed more oil. So get yourself um, a nice, gentle facial cleanser, all right? These are just two that I use. Um, this one I use more often. It is from the face shop. It is a Korean brand. And also, it's worth it to note that when I started this face care regime I was living and working in South Korea 
So you can still buy these products readily on Amazon, but um, this especially is very easy to come across. Let me get up close. It's the Rice Water Bright um, Cleansing Foam. The one I really like, I'm completely out of and I'm gutted. It is the Charcoal Facial Foam from also the Face Shop. And you can buy them both on Amazon.com. And I'll leave a link below. Facial cleanser, twice a day, a nice gentle one. All right, I happen to like the ones that foam, so that's why I'm a little more partial to the face shop ones. But you can use any gentle facial cleanser that works for you. V has a great one. Cetaphil has a great one. There are tons of them. Find one that works for you. Use it morning and night. All right. The second thing that I found, and I found this also when I was in South Korea, however, I have found it in the States, and it is also readily available online, and it is this. It is the Thayer's Alcohol-Free Toner. I happen to be partial to the Rose Petal Witch Hazel one with aloe. All right, they have one that is alcohol-free in lavender. I think they have an alcohol-free one that is cucumber scented. Doesn't matter. The thing that I think is most important with this step is that it's witch hazel and that it says it's an alcohol free toner. All right, because some of them in this brand, the Thayer's brand, are called astringents and they have alcohol in them. So get yourself an alcohol free one, no matter the scent. Witch hazel, alcohol free. All right, and I use this morning and night after I cleanse my skin, put it on a little cotton round, it feels so good. And what I feel like this does, besides the fact that it has witch hazel in it, which is supposed to reduce inflammation and kind of calm the skin and everything, um, what this does is give it the first nice little light, super light layer of hydration on the face. It feels great. Get yourself some of that. Okay, step number three that you want to do and get yourself for sure is some sort of facial peel, particularly if you are my age or approaching my age, becoming a woman of a particular age in her 40s, I find that, and I've researched this and know that, as you age, the glue that sticks your dead skin cells to each other and to your face gets harder to get off and so therefore your skin starts to look really dull and I think now that I have done some research on it what was contributing to um, the cystic acne nature of it was the fact that I had all this dead skin laying over the surface of my face so that the pimples couldn't pop through even if they wanted to so what you need to do is get yourself a really good enzymatic or some kind of peel system for your face. I use two that I love. Um, I will say when I was in Korea and when I started this, the only thing I could find that I knew what it was, because most things were obviously in Korean, um, was from Juice Beauty. It's called their Green Apple Peel. It worked wonderfully, all right? But I've moved on, I've tried other things, and so these are, uh, I'll tell you one of the things that I use now. And that is this from Peter Thomas Roth. It is the pumpkin enzyme mask. This stuff is awesome. First of all, it smells like pumpkin pie, which is amazing. It smells so good. And I don't even like pumpkin pie, but I love the way this smells. Second of all, it has gritties in it. That's the technical name, gritty. Um, it's very gritty. It has a lot of little particles in it that are quite rough. They're not so rough that they will tear up your face, but they are rough. They're not little like beads of jojoba or anything. They're grit. It feels a little bit like a soft um, grit sandpaper. But you smear this all over in nice circular motions, let it sit for three to five minutes or so, and then rinse it off. and your face will love you for it, and you will love it for what it does to your face. It gets the dead skin off. It looks like this, by the way. As you can see, I'm almost out, but I do have a, a backup. Um, it's wonderful. Get yourself something 
that is going to eat off the dead skin on your face, all right? All right, number four. The fourth thing you want to do, and I got this from um, Wayne Goss, get yourself something like Persigel, Clearasil, Oxytin, something like this. Now, I will say that mine is 10%, so it's maximum strength. Wayne suggested 25 5%. I couldn't find that in my store. I could only find the maximum strength one. Um, I tried Persigel. Doesn't it doesn't really work for me? It it was kind of oily, and I didn't really like that. But the Clearasil works wonderfully. What I do with this baby? I only put this on at night. So after I wash my face and tone my face with the Thayer's Witch Hazel alcohol-free toner, I moisturize my face any nice light moisturizer that you like use it and then I put this over it and the reason that I put the clear cell on top of my moisturizer is because this clear cell is no joke it will dry the heck out of your skin and I found through trial and error that putting down a nice emollient but not greasy base um, I use either the new Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Ma whatever it's called, the new one, the blue one from Neutrogena. Or I will use Clinique's Moisture Surge because they're a gel formula, um, they're oil free, they kind of go on really nicely, sink into my skin and I'm left with skin that is moisturized but not greasy. So I'll smear one of those all over my face and then I will put this in my trouble spots. All right, so I will put it all over this cheek, pretty much over this cheek, um, a little on my nose, my forehead, Anywhere where it's super, super oily and you are prone to get a breakout from time to time is what I do with this. Put this on, all right? Number five, the fifth step, all right? The fifth step, can you see? Yeah, the fifth step is to get yourself, if you don't already have multiples, get yourself a at least a couple um, pillowcases, all right? Swap out your pillowcases. I swap out my pillowcases every third day. So I will get a fresh pillowcase, put it all on my pillow, go to sleep, say on a Monday. All right. Then Tuesday, I'll flip my pillow over and go to sleep on that side. Come Wednesday, I'm putting on a new pillowcase and do the whole thing again. You don't want to keep laying your face, even though it's cleansed, even though it's got all these motion or potions all over it. Um, you don't want to keep putting, you know, the same, your face on the same dirty pillowcase. So switch out your pillowcase every, I would say, third day, all right? Also, what I forgot to mention is when you wash your face, and this is the, the tip that I got from Little Pumpkin Pie, when you wash your face, don't dry it with your same old bath towel, all right? Either get a new fresh hand towel like every other day or so, or I got this tip from her, Makeup Game on Point, use paper towel. That's what I do, a new paper towel every time you wash your face. Pat it dry with a fresh paper towel. That way there is no bacteria transferring all over the place from old towels or washcloths or anything like that. I'm trying to tell you. All right. Now, there are other tips. I've seen them. So have you probably. Um, drink plenty of water. Eat right. Lay off the pop and the, you know, juices and things like that. Watch what you eat. Blah, blah. Take a vitamin. All of that stuff can't help but to help you. All right they're good for you we should all be doing it anyway but I will be honest with you I don't do that I don't drink half as much water in a day as I do I like pop I like juice that's uh, what I drink I like coffee and tea so I drink a lot of that stuff but you should drink more water you should eat right my eating habits are not great either so I'm not saying that you can eat garbage and have the same results that I have with my skin. And I have clear skin. I still get an occasional hormonal breakout, but all of those pimples are virtually gone. Um, give it a shot. 
it cleared up my skin it helps me a lot I hope that it helps you so try my five tips for clearer skin I hope and hope and hope that they help you if they do or if you have any questions at all please comment down below and let me know I would love to hear from you also subscribe for more content like this um thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day much love to you and I will see you soon. Bye.